Space station astronauts have been doing groundbreaking research over the past two decades. Only the International Space Station, ISS, currently in orbit above the Earth, roughly 250 miles above the surface, can conduct long-term microgravity experiments. During its 20-year history, the ISS has enabled countless scientific, technological, medical, and exploration firsts. Studying these phenomena helps us travel to new parts of the galaxy, but it also has practical applications here on Earth. The station is a training ground for NASA, but very recently, NASA spotted a huge object docking with the ISS. Stay tuned to learn more about the nine unique scientific discoveries from the ISS. You'll be most taken aback by the fourth scenario. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and share your thoughts on this extraterrestrial discovery in the comments below. Discovery of a Large Alien in the Space Shuttle UFO skeptic and self-proclaimed NASA veteran claimed to have witnessed an extraterrestrial on space shuttle at 9 feet tall. Clark McClelland, who claims to have worked as an aerospace engineer for NASA from 1958 until 1992, stands by his narrative, widely circulated on paranormal websites, radio stations, and YouTube channels. Skeptics have discounted McClelland's claims that he saw an 8 to 9 foot UFO as insane and they allege that he has never worked for NASA. In a video posted to the conspiracy website Paranormal Crucible, McClelland claims to have witnessed the sighting from the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The website has since created mock-up photos depicting the large entity interacting with NASA astronauts in a shuttle bay, as McClelland claims he saw it happen. Furthermore, he claimed he saw a UFO behind the shuttle on another occasion. He claims he witnessed the alien standing on two legs in the space shuttle payload bay. It communicated with the two tethered U.S. astronauts for a full minute and seven seconds, while monitoring an unmanned top-secret mission from the Launch Control Center at the Space Center. He details this event on his website, www.stargate-chronicles.com. Other UFO hunters have picked up his claim as the most conclusive evidence supporting the theory that U.S. government has interacted with extraterrestrial life forms, but is doing everything it can to suppress the fact from the general public. McClellan's backers take him at his word and point to the fact that the U.S. Space Agency has never contested his narrative. However, he claims to have participated in 800-plus NASA operations, such as the Apollo missions, the launch of the ISS, and the Space Shuttle mission. He and Judy Resnick, the United States' second female astronaut and one of the seven casualties of the Challenger accident in 1986, are shown on his webpage. In a video he recorded that was recently discovered by the paranormal website Inquisitor, McClelland makes a series of surprising complaints about aliens subverting authorities on Earth. He also claims that the U.S. government has left him financially handicapped and crippled after removing his pension and leaving him on Social Security. He made a video saying he could identify an alien visitor and their spaceship. Alien beings inhabit Earth and freely move about the planet. Perhaps they are embedded in the many governments that rule the Earth. His website, which he titled after his self-published booklet of the same name, features photos of him that convinced UFO enthusiasts that he had worked for the space agency. Nevertheless, a skeptic who posts in a forum on the AboveTopSecret.com website that examines alternative issues and conspiracy theories disputed the veracity of his statements by saying that if you search his name, it only pops up on UFO sites or postings in places where the subject of the post was UFOs. Also, he added that NASA's website does not refer to him. Basic Disease Research if you or a loved one have been affected by Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's illness, cancer, asthma, or heart disease, then the space station study has also impacted you. Studies conducted in microgravity have revealed previously unknown aspects of these illnesses. Scientists studying protein clusters that could lead to neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's did so without the effect of Earth's gravity. Endothelial cells, which aid in blood flow, 
were the focus of the study by cancer researchers who knew that tumor growth required an adequate blood supply. New cancer drugs can be tested using cells produced on the ISS, which have a higher survival rate than cells cultivated on Earth. The European Space Agency has funded research that led to the creation of diagnostic tools that quantify airway inflammation. These tools can be used in spaceflight diagnostics and have potential applications on Earth for diagnosing related illnesses like asthma. Steady Cool Flames Scientists burnt fuel droplets in a flame extinguishing experiment, FLEX, and found unexpected results. Droplets of heptane fuel had no visible flame, but they were still burning. Two separate times, the fire died out, the first time with a visible flame and the second time without. Scientists witnessed enormous drops of heptane fuel with two distinct burning and extinction processes for the first time. For the second phase, chemical heat release, or cool flame, was the primary energy source. It's natural to associate fire with heat, yet the unique flames developed on the ISS helped to moderate the temperature. By ignoring the effects of gravity on combustion, fundamental flame properties can be examined. Scientists have created cool flames on Earth, but they swiftly die out. Scientists on the ISS have more time to observe and investigate cold flames since they can flare for minutes. Smoke, carbon dioxide, and water vapor are the typical byproducts of a fire. Carbon monoxide and formaldehyde are created when flames are allowed to cool. Knowledge of the behavior of these chemical distinct flames could inform the design of more fuel-efficient, less polluting vehicles. Also, define and guide the design of large-scale fire suppression tests and the selection of the fire suppressor for the next generation of crew exploration vehicles. Innovative Water Purification Systems Reducing the requirement for water supply trips is one benefit of the space station's effective wastewater recycling system. Because of the impossibility of resupplying a ship as it travels deeper into space, these technologies are essential. The GEM Water Recovery System JWRS, treats urine to produce drinkable water. Urine and other effluent used to be collected and either stored or sent overboard on human spacecraft. Yet, water availability may become a problem for space missions of extended duration. Furthermore, many people worldwide do not have access to potable water. Space-age filtration and purification technologies were initially designed for the ISS and can now be made available to vulnerable regions on Earth. 93% of the water scientists use is recovered and recycled to the station's water recovery system. Development of Drugs Through Protein Crystals Space station investigations on protein crystal formation have aided in treating cancer and gum disease, among others. Crystallization of human proteins allows for detailed structural analysis, which sheds light on how human bodies work and how to cure various ailments. Investigating a protein linked to Duchenne muscular dystrophy, DMD, a fatal hereditary condition, is one of the most encouraging outcomes of these station tests. Clinical trials are underway testing a therapy for DMD based on this study. PCG5 was another study that looked into how to crystallize the therapeutic antibody, Keytruda, more consistently. It was planned to enhance the medicine to be administered via injection instead of intravenous IV therapy. Mitigating Muscle Atrophy and Bone Loss Space research has significantly advanced our understanding of bone and muscle loss in astronauts and how to prevent and treat it. The insight gathered also applies to those on Earth dealing with ailments like osteoporosis. The impact of gravity on bones and muscles offers distinct possibilities for exploration. Scientists have created a training program and food routine that considerably decrease the bone and muscle damage astronauts would otherwise endure throughout their period in space. Understanding how to decrease the impacts of spaceflight on bones and muscles is crucial for future studies in the partial gravity environments of the Moon and Mars. Understanding Microgravity Body Changes Human missions to Mars require an understanding of the obstacles they will confront. Lengthy space station trips have revealed some surprising ways the human body adapts to life without gravity. For instance, some astronauts experienced sudden eyesight changes 
Today, referred to as Spaceflight Associated Neuroocular Syndrome SANS. Following its first discovery, space station research has provided a springboard for a deeper comprehension of SANS. For the NASA twin study, identical twins Scott and Mark Kelly spent a year apart in space and then compared their experiences. It sheds light on how prolonged space travel might alter a person's physical health. The results demonstrated that Scott's gene expression shifted and his body had the expected immune response to immunizations when he was in space. Microgravity Food Growth Humanity can travel to more distant planets with the ability to create supplemental food. Various plant cultivation methods have been tested in preparation for upcoming missions aboard the space station. Astronauts ate the first space-grown salad on August 10, 2015, and they are now cultivating radishes in microgravity. The veggie facility has perfected the cultivation of eight varieties of green vegetables for astronaut consumption. Researchers must try out novel techniques for watering, lighting, and cultivating plants to grow in microgravity. These experiments have been carried out aboard the ISS to determine the plant's optimal growing conditions. Natural Disaster Response The station has become a vital part of orbital data collecting for disaster response actions in the U.S. and around the world, thanks in large part to the crew's use of handheld camera images. Photographs taken by astronauts show the course of natural disasters, like storms, fires, including cloud cover, flooding, and terrain changes. To enhance severe weather forecasting, the ISS is equipped with a lightning imaging sensor, which monitors the dispersion and intensity of lightning. These observations provide a vantage point that is impossible to get on Earth, allowing for better preparedness and response to calamities. The Space Tissue Chip Experiment Tissue chips, which are about the size of a thumb drive, contain human cells in a 3D matrix and mimic the activities of an organ. These are huge steps forward in allowing researchers to examine the effects of stressors, medicines, and genetic modifications on those cells. The Tissue Chips in Space project aims to study and treat Earth diseases using microgravity devices. The ISS U.S. National Lab and the National Institute of Health have transported a variety of chips to the space station that simulate the activity of the lungs, kidneys, brain, and intestines. This suggests that scientists in space could use tissue chips to stimulate events occurring on Earth only after a significant amount of time. Conclusion I trust that the above video clarifies your concerns about the massive alien on board the space shuttle and the ISS's nine most notable scientific findings. We thank you for watching and encourage you to leave a comment, like, and follow us on social media before you go. Goodbye.